Hello everyone, it's Melody with designbymelody.com. I received my February Studio Calico main scrapbook kit yesterday evening, and so I wanted to share it with you today. I'm going to share the papers with you first, and then we'll go through the embellishments. And I have my little cheat sheet here with what came in the kit. So this one was titled Sugar Rush, and there were four solids. There is the first one is from American Crafts, and it's called Fountain. It's a nice, pretty teal. We have Flamingo by American Crafts as well. We have Cinder by American Crafts. And this almost is, I thought it was going to be a brown color. It's actually more of a gray. I love this color combination already. And, um, I'm sorry, Cinder is from Basil, actually. And then we have White from American Crafts. And these all have a textured side as well as a smooth side. Um, okay, on to the pattern papers. We have Summer by October Afternoon. It's a nice sunburst. And in the back, I don't know if the camera's going to pick up on this, but it has a very, very faint circular pattern on it. That's Summer. I'll lay them out here so you can see them as we go. Okay, this next one is by Little Butterfly Wings, and it's called Push Me, Pull Me. And you can see there it has dots. They get bigger as they go up or smaller as they go down, whichever way you want to look at it. And then the back is feathers. We have Vibrato by Studio Calico. It's an orange take on a chevron. And then the back side is just a classic Studio Calico pattern. We have um, Dish from the October Afternoon Girl Talk line, and I love this one. It has its heart, and it's got mostly pink with a few red ones, and they're distressed looking. And then the back side is this. And I really wish I had gotten two, or the extra set of patterned paper, because I would have loved to have two of these. But I love that side. Um, the next one is by Allison Pennington. It's Twirl. This is a really pretty pattern as well. And then the back side is just a basic chevron. Um, we have Snapshots Borders by Bella Boulevard. Actually, I guess it goes this way. All these cameras, very pretty. And then the back side is this, a much busier pattern. But I really honestly love this side the best. And then we have Love Letter Pink by Fancy Pants for Studio Calico. It is, let's see, it looks like a handwritten love letter. It's pink with white and it has Valentine's, kisses, flowers, hugs, Cupid, sweet, all kinds of words written on it. And the back side is just a basic distressed kind of cream pattern. I really love all of these papers. And then the very last one is exclu um I'm sorry, is Sentiments by Fancy Pants. And it again is a lot of different loved themed, very cool looking paper. And then the back side is this, which again I love. Um so there you go, those are all the papers, the solids and the pattern papers. Alright, now to the embellishments. There are a variety of ones here. First we have this Resin Lollipop by Studio Calico. It's got a short stick. Oops. It's got a short stick here. We have the Alphas that came in the kit. They're by October Afternoon. They're called Daily Flash Strawberry Ice Cream. You've got the large ones as well as the small tile alphas. But you have a nice variety of alphas here. So I'll add that right along there. We have the white on craft die cuts. And these are from Studio Calico. There are a bunch of different ones here. They're craft paper. Um, we have 2014. We have a couple different kites. We have a few ampersand signs. We have February, uh, hot air balloon, um, kind of a cloud shape. There are a couple, um, there's two different ones that actually came out of the middle of the Polaroids, but I kept them because I might possibly use them as masks. 
We have a couple of um, clouds here. Again, another ampersand. We have two Polaroids. We have a number of tags here, a little um, wreath looking thing, a few arrows, and then like I said, a number of tags here. Nice variety there. We have the sunburst washi tape, which is this one. couple different colors as the sun bursts going different directions. We have pink, orange, and yellow. And it's kind of a peachy orange. There we go. We have the Plastic Wonky Hearts by Hello Forever. Oh, that washi tape was by Studio Calico. Alright, so these are these hearts and I really love them. They're plastic hearts but they just remind me of a vellum heart because you can see through them. They're all different colors, different sizes, very nice variety there. Always good with hearts. Hearts are easy to use. Um, we have enamel dots here by Twine and Ink. There are two rows of this gold sparkly one, um, a row of this kind of rosy pink, and then this yellow as well. So I'll add those right there. And then lastly in the kit we have, and again this is just the main scrapbook kit, lastly we have the 3x4 stamp set and this is by uh, Life Love Paper for Studio Calico. So the first the stamp set comes like this, I guess you can see it. It says, um, love this with all my heart, it has a solid line, okay here 2014, huh? No, or number, whichever way you want to read that. Uh, February. A speech bubble, yay, a banner, and then some um, circle outlines as well as solid circles. And actually this yay is a separate stamp from the um, speech bubble, so that's a separate thing. Now, these are all separate stamps. This, like The circles are separate. You can pull one circle off. So, I think that was actually a printing error. I'm not 100% sure, but everybody seemed to get this. Because it also came with this other piece that are the same things, but one solid stamp. See what I mean? So, I think that original one was an error. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like this was the, the correct way it should have been done. Because it lines right up with how it is on the, on the sheet. So, anyways, you get both of those either way. But it'd be nice to actually have these as separate because you can use them to embellish different, you know, stamp different things in the corner or around your embellishment section. So this is the kit here, the main scrapbook kit. You also get, of course, the little ad with upcoming things and you have the journaling card on the back, which I always do use. And then in the kit there was also these 2014 color guides by Color, it's the Color Theory stuff that's going on right now and it's actually really kind of cool. I don't have a D-ring to put around it right now but I will find one. I have a whole bunch of them somewhere I just can't find them. But you see it has the color, the number, well read, and then it has a place for you to stamp the actual an image of the stamp if you have that, that ink. So this is a nice little tool to have in your stash because you can use it for matching colors, figure out what you want to use on a layout. Um, but that's actually all that came out of the box. Thanks for joining me today. I will list all these supplies on uh, the coordinating blog, po blog post that goes with this at www.designbymelody.com. Thanks. Bye.